Welcome dear viewer to Hop Channel Kenya. It's the TV station around the nation that gives you programs that are tailored towards your family. And one of such programs is Thinking Cup, where I'm Ken Barraza, the host. And today, again, for those who are with me sometimes before, we had Justin. Justin is here to talk to about uh, food security. I'll let him talk about himself with regard to who he is, for those who missed him in the earlier uh, discussion. Justin. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Pastor. Uh, my name is uh, Justin Mabea. I, I live in the outskirts of Nairobi, in Ngong specifically. I'm an elder at Mount Olives SDA Church um, in Ngong area. And um, I, I am an uh, um, agriculture innovation uh, enthusiast. Mm -hmm. And um, I am grateful to be in this uh, studio to engage with you on matters of food security. Thank you so much. There you have it. This man is a scientist, and we're going to tap into his knowledge about uh, food security for now. He has a bias towards agriculture and that's what he works. He thinks about how best we can be able to feed ourselves. Justin, um, uh, last time when we talked, we talked about threats and vulnerability to um, uh, our population with regard to food security. Right. I, I can't help thinking about um, parts of this nation where literally agriculture is a challenge because like we said before, um, uh, um, we still depend heavily on rain-fed uh, agricultural practice, which is really uh, limiting and uh, how much we can do. And if you compare with other nations uh, around the world that don't have rain, but have food, what will it take for us? A crisis <laughs> of some sort? Isn't these uh, moments that we go without food sometimes enough crisis to prompt us to think and act decisively yeah um, ideally that should be um, when we have a crisis it should take us into thinking and taking up necessary actions to avert a crisis again right but i think uh, we haven't learned as kenyans um to to address uh, uh, elements of crisis in yeah. this country. We do not, I mean, we've always had uh, drought and, and famine. Mm -hmm. uh, cycles of, uh, f of, of drought are, are, are well known in this country. Mm -hmm. But we find ourselves not quite prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I think um, it is probably our culture as a nation. We do not respond to crisis very well and we don't prepare uh, against them. But I, 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 I am, I am, I am hopeful that um, with the devolution, and that the counties are now in control of, uh, you know, agriculture in a way, mm -hmm. the agriculture was 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 uh, devolved is a devolved function right. of government. I'm hoping that the the county governments will be more uh, focused on that, mm -hmm. uh, put up uh, really very good strategies that are sustainable. So that because they are again close to the people, mm -hmm. so that then we are able to deal with matters of crisis, mm -hmm. uh, and and I'm sure if the counties fully took charge of this of this of this of this of agriculture, mm -hmm. we should be able to to address matters of uh, uh, food insecurity, and even when we have a crisis, there shouldn't really be. We should produce enough in preparation for crisis. I really, there isn't really, it, it is not rocket science to do that. <laughs> Justin, I'm just thinking as you speak, <clears throat> excuse me, about the effects of global warming. Right. Today, 
it's not something we can ignore. I mean, I don't want to get into the politics of whether there is really global warming or there isn't, but we live between the one disaster of drought or the other of over, um, of, 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 of a lot of water uh, because of rains that come by and flooding. And with it, <clears throat> one of the, the problems you, you, you quickly experience because of global warming, so to speak, whether for whatever reasons, causative reasons or cause co factors, is that food security is really hampered. Uh, yet it doesn't occur to us that we should move away from politics and do science and do serious remedy to avert in food insecurity. That's true, really. Um, global warming is a reality. I don't think that is anything to, to, to dispute. Eh? It's a reality, and we have experienced it yes. um, in this country yeah. and, 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 the, and the world at large. In this country, we have um, policies and structures that actually can easily manage that mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, uh, uh, the, I mean, the, 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 our, our, our agricultural or just basically public service and private sector uh, establishments are very, very clear, in, and they can quickly take care of that. Mm -hmm. We have. Uh, research that is very vibrant in this country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's no doubt about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Kenya Agriculture Livestock and Re uh, Research Organization. Curry. Curry. Mm -hmm. it, it used to be Curry. It's now called Calro. Oh, that's a new one. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's been there for some time now. Um, yes, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's, it's a premier research organization in this country. Mm -hmm. It's actually a reference research organization in this region. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, significant amount of research on yes. across all aspects of agriculture. Yes. Crop production, matters of climate change issues, mm -hmm. uh, agro inputs, and all these things that uh, support agriculture. Mm -hmm. So we have enough scientists and enough knowledge, and there's more that is coming up. Other than Calro, we have universities across the country Yes, yes. that cut across this, this country, mm -hmm. from coast to, 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 from Lake Victoria to, 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 to this, to Indian, Indian Ocean. Ocean. And uh, up north and up south. In and between. Down south. <laughs> we have universities, and all of them, almost all of them, I think, I mean, pro pre pretty much all of them, Yes of agriculture as one of their uh, departments yes. departments or faculties yes yes so we have sufficient uh, capacity mm -hmm. in terms of intellectual capacity mm -hmm. and research that mm -hmm. can be able to speak and generate technologies mm -hmm. and uh, knowledge mm -hmm. that will help us deal with challenges of climate change mm -hmm. and uh, you know drought issues so what's the missing link and then we have very strong agriculture extension services. Mm -hmm. We have a strong private sector. I mm -hmm. mean, Kenya is, a, is reputed as a, as, 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 as a beacon of uh, agricultural development in this region. Mm -hmm. we, so we really have, I think what we don't have is good linkages between all these operators. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that is w the weakest link. Uh, I mean, I can tell you for sure that, uh, yes, there's so much research, mm -hmm. but no one ha knows how much of that is in those research <laughs> institutions, <laughs> in those universities. Uh, we talk about, you know, uh, technologies lying in shelves in wow. our universities. Gathering dust. Gathering dust uh, in publications or in, you know, whatever kind of storage capacity uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. So what we have is, is a linkage problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, 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 and maybe this is where the national government should come in, in collaboration with the county governments, to try and tap into these sources of information. Yes. Both yes. in terms of the technologies that are out there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and also in terms of human capacity mm -hmm. in these institutions of research. Mm -hmm. Because we have really bright brains yes. across the country. Yes that can completely turn around. And we, we need to recognize, we need to get a point where we recognize our intellectual capacity. Yes. That is so rich in this country. Mm -hmm. We export knowledge of course, in uh, terms of human. Uh, down uh, south and down south. And, yeah, so, so the linkage is what we don't have in terms of linking into the human capacity and also in technologies that are out there. Mm -hmm. If we did a basic technology and innovation audit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm in our research institutions, in our development organizations, in our academic institutions, would be amazed at the amount of knowledge that we have, that we have not made use of. But now we have a challenge of, you know, where we, we don't, there's a you know, tendency of trying to look out of the country, maybe towards the North right, Europe right. and America to draw in technologies. Yes, but yes. I think we have significant, a significant amount of volume. And technologies that are relevant here. Yes. yes. Uh, let me ask you a question that I thought you, I, I, I saw your passion on. You wanted to really um, drive that discussion. Uh, the one about church. Uh, uh, I, I believe it's not only the Adventist church, but I think the Christian church in Kenya. 
uh, especially the mainstream churches, it is easy for us to ask people to do um, tithing, to worship God by tithing and offering. Right. <clears throat> but we don't realize that we also, first of all, need to give them the fishing rod with regard to farming, and then we can expect them to do the uh, worship. Is it, are we naive? <laughs> are we indifferent? What is it? What would be your comment? Yeah, I think uh, it, it's, it's both probably. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we, we, I'll probably be more confident speaking about our Adventist church because that's mm -hmm. where. Mm -hmm. but that's, You're well vast. But, yeah, but, but I know like the Catholic church have development officers in their, in their, in their diocese. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, who kind of support uh, development work. Yes. Which will also include agriculture. Mm -hmm. Um, I know they will probably do more. Yes, that, that's a, that's possible. I mean, every there's there's always more we can do in mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. But specifically about the the church here, we we do not have uh, other than ADRA, you know, yes. Advanced Development Relief Agency. Mm -hmm. We do not have um, uh, uh, an, an office, an office a within structure. a structure within the, the church hierarchy. You know, mm -hmm. like the East Af East, East Central Africa Division, for example, mm -hmm. or the East Kenya Union Conference, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or say uh, the Coast. F Coast field or coast conference? Mm -hmm. or yes, it's field. Yeah. Mm -hmm. a, in, uh, a person who would support development. Mm -hmm. I know pastors, by your training, you you, you, you you meant to go out there and preach. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's my thing. That, that's your thing, <laughs> yes, yes. Take the Bible and sp spread the gospel. That's right. Powerful, and, and that's, that's good, really. Mm -hmm. But you need backup. Yes, yes. In terms of, uh, if you do not have the capacity as a pastor, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, maybe a development officer who mm -hmm. can uh, enable the community to 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 work towards uh, increasing their food security, improving their production, mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. making them financially strong and able. Just like we've done with education and health. This is it. We should also yeah. be thinking about the same thing in, in yeah. with regard to agriculture. Exactly, because people must eat mm -hmm. and people must be healthy. Where we are is we we're, we're talking about curative medicine. Yes, I yes. mean we putting up hospitals. Yes, yes. But we should be at home to prevent people coming to hospitals. Exactly. Right. Provide for their food so that they are healthy, good healthy food. I hear you. And also at the same time, provide enough that will enable them have some extra income for, in case of a health issue, they go to hospital. Right, right. In case of education, they pay for fees. Yes. Yeah, so so I think that's where we're missing the, the link. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and, um, and we can do that, and we can be able to help our, 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 our members of the church, you know, the local church members yes. too. And then, you know, we also create a complete relationship mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that we don't go asking them to give tithe yes. for, from, from no resources. <laughs> of course, from nothing. From nothing, yes. <laughs> yeah, so that, that is really uh, something I hope the church can adopt yes. uh, vigorously and yes. be deliberate about. Yes, yes. So that uh, we empower our people <coughs> down there. Mm -hmm. yeah, we go and talk about stewardship. Yes. How to take care of God's resources. But uh, but but the 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 thinking behind it is 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 thinking of God so that we give yes yes and worship type, him and worship him right but but then there are th of course God you know put Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden and told them tender them of course he did Tend yeah that's the oldest <laughs> command yes and farm and and exactly. and, 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 and vocation <laughs> exactly the oldest vocation right and I think we're losing that that aspect <clears throat> we must get to tell the people because our our, our our church members are predominantly smallholder farmers. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, subsistence farmers, mm -hmm. rural mm -hmm. communities. Mm -hmm. We need to go and tell them, please tender the garden. Right. Tender right. the garden. Right. Let's not abdicate that responsibility. Mm -hmm. I think it's a church responsibility to do what God told Adam and Eve. Right. Go and tender the garden. Right. Justin, I'm just thinking about um, areas of this nation, like I, uh, I mentioned earlier, that are dry. Uh, maybe uh, even if you did have um, uh, uh, rains, it comes once in a long while, and yeah. the spread of rivers is also low. I'm told that uh, the, 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 the more arid the place or dry the place, the mm -hmm. water surface level is higher, or is it? It's almost on the surface. Yeah. Than in areas where we have a lot of rain, right. you have to dig a little <clears throat> bit deeper. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, question one. How do we ensure such places in this country, like this, the, what we used to call northeastern uh, uh, parts of coast that are dry, parts of um, um, uh, 
through Kana. Uh, really, it's spread right out there. What do we do so that, because I, 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 I keep feeling that, that we are just intellectually lazy. Every year you hear we must do food uh, um, rationing or is it um, interventions to those people mm -hmm. help? And mm -hmm. asking people to generate, it's, it's something that is just not right. How do we take care of that? One, one shot and we're done. And have people living with dignity. Yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I, I know for sure um, that it has to be a collaborative effort mm -hmm. from uh, government uh, and uh, other stakeholders, mm -hmm. private sector and uh, maybe development organizations, NGOs like ours. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is basically because um, uh, irrigation uh, as in itself, I mean, especially in, uh, in, in, in places where rain is deficient and mm -hmm. it should really be the target, mm -hmm would require a significant amount of investment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I know the government has uh, put in place um, strategies towards that. They are already working on uh, you know, Galana Kulalu mm -hmm, mm -hmm. irrigation project mm -hmm. in uh, Tana River. Mm -hmm. um, and that requires, I mean, from, the, from, you, you, from what is in the public uh, domain, mm -hmm, yeah. they, it requires a significant amount of investment. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, if, even then, um, in, in our own small way, mm -hmm. Yeah, in our own small way, um, individual communities can mobilize resources mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to deal with their situation, mm -hmm, deal mm -hmm. with their situation, and 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 try and and and, and get to you know uh, ha pool water. Yes, yes. I'll give you an example uh, of uh, a place I visited in uh, uh, Matu, um, mm -hmm. Kenyatta. You know, I don't know, you know, between Kitui and uh, and Garissa Road, somewhere yes. in between there. Yes. There's a, an organization called um, uh, Operation Molio Out. Operation Molio Out. You know, it, in in the in in the days of former President Moy, mm -hmm. and even even up to now, really, uh, food relief in 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 Ukambani is called Molio. Oh. Drawn from the, from that aspect of lining up to receive. Yes, 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 yes. So uh, there's a pastor, an evangelical pastor called Pastor. Masika, who, who went there and said, this can't continue any longer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I really love that. Mm -hmm. So he went and mobilized the community and asked the community, what can we do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to address our challenge? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe poor and maybe to bring him here one of these days. Mm -hmm. What can we do to address our challenge? Mm -hmm. what is it? So the community, they discovered their problem is water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they said, how do we get water? Of course, every part of this country rains at some point. Yes. So they said, we have received rain at some particular times. Mm -hmm. So why don't we trap this water rather, rather than having it run into a river, lake, yes. a river mm -hmm. and then down to Indian Ocean, Ocean, trap it into water pans. Okay. So they agreed as a community that they will dig water pans, small water pans, you know, mm -hmm. something of this space mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for every family that is. So they put together, by the, when I was there last, they have they put together like 4,000 uh, members yeah, oh, okay. and for each member they dug water pans and they did that you know from one home to another in support uh, as a community mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and 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 famine is, is is a history now there wow yeah one shot they have dug water pans across the across the community operation molio out operation molio out they call it omo Oh my yes, yes, I was just going to see that. Yes. <laughs> so so every time there's rain, like for example, the long rains around April, May, mm -hmm. so the water runs into these pans, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and thank God it doesn't it doesn't seep out completely. Right. So they have water throughout the year. So sometimes, of course, there's, there's rain once or sometimes twice. Mm -hmm. So if they have twice, then if they have more than they need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they have water for the agriculture for livestock. In fact, you go there, you'll be amazed. They are good dairy animals. Wow. Horticulture is, is vibrant. Yes. Maize production is beautiful. So I what, mean, what I hear you saying is that, yes, the, the government ha, has a pl a, an aspect it can do. Yes. But really it takes initiative at the family and communal level. Exactly. To elevate some of these uh, disturbing problems. We can turn around ourselves if we are focused and get to know what really our problem is and get together. This is a bishop, oh, you said a pastor who, an evangelical pastor who did. Yes. Can, do you think this can be uh, duplicated by other uh, religious leaders who not necessarily are not, you know, sometimes 
for lack of a better explanation, politicians don't do sustainable <laughs> yeah. projects. Mm -hmm. But I think we should be thinking about having solutions that are sustainable. Exactly. And, and the solutions are local. Yes, that are local. That are local. And it, that particular um, way of doing things by Operation Moli Out, OMO, mm -hmm. can be replicated anywhere in the world. All over the place. Uh, and anywhere in the country. Yeah. It has to be customized to their local situation. Yes, yes contextualized. Yeah. Contextualized, so exactly. Now, uh, just before we, are, we, are, we get into a real burning question here, there's something also about rural urban migration. And with it, it is reducing labor in the rural areas that should be ideally uh, available for doing farming uh, in the farms. If you go today in most of the rural areas, the youthful <laughs> yeah. labor Energy, is know, moving out. Mm -hmm. And the people that are remaining are all people who can't do much. And is that going to be a threat as we move from the 60-40 population distribution, rural urban, to, as I hear, down to maybe 50-50, down to 40-40, because I'm told globally we are becoming more urban and less rural. What's your thoughts about that? Yeah, um, that, that's for sure. The, the rural urban migration is uh, is a reality. It's a reality, and of course, you know, people why they move to urban uh, centers so that they can they can earn some income, yes. they can, they can uh, uh, earn some living. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, of course, you can also confirm that true. Yes, wh while they come the rural to the urban areas, it's not necessarily that rosy. No, it's I not. mean, sometime life in in town is, is very difficult. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, and, and it's not always obvious that you'll get an income, a job, or an opportunity mm -hmm. to work and have an, in, an income. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so they, they so that hasn't been quite controlled. But um, we are we are also hoping that the, the devolution in Kenya mm -hmm. will will somewhat contribute stem to the tide. stem the tide of moving. For example, towards Nairobi, mm -hmm. Mombasa, Nakuru, mm -hmm. those big towns, Kisumu, mm -hmm. and then stay in the rural areas mm -hmm. and and build the economy within the counties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But that is also contingent to the fact, to the need, to the fact that there should be income. The county governments mm -hmm. uh, hopefully will be vibrant. Mm -hmm. Of course, as resources move towards the counties, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you know we hope that there will be industrial growth, mm -hmm. development, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and create jobs. Mm -hmm. There will be enhanced uh, agricultural development mm -hmm. so that there will be income at rural areas so that people don't have to come to Nairobi for Vibarua, but they can get Vibarua out there. Yeah, so they, so I think uh, there they should be some hope with the devolution. Mm -hmm. uh, but that depends on how, how vibrant devolution becomes. Mm -hmm. uh, Depending on which county you are in, the level of progress in that direction mm -hmm. is different. Um, yeah, so. Uh, uh, rural urban migration is still there, yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. But uh, we can turn it around. We can turn it around with empowering that which we can be able to do at the county levels. And mm -hmm. I think counties should also be focused on what is their strengths. Yes, 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 yes. They, we can't do everything. No, can't do everything. I mean, we have. But I mean, for example, talking about Kisi, probably one of our strengths. Yes, is banana. Yes, banana production. <laughs> if we focus on banana production. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, significantly, among other things, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which we are strong in. Yes. We, we can do well. We can do well. And, 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 and that will stem significantly the flow of labor from urban, from rural to, to urban areas, and therefore be able to have people who are at the, at the ground who can work, provide energy, yes. provide uh, labor, mm -hmm. provide uh, um, skills, mm -hmm, and, 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 and that and kind market. of And market and those kind of things. And yeah. technology transfer, do we need a bit of that in the, from, from the national to the county levels? We need that. We need that. We need that for sure. Um, I, I know there are policies that facilitate, that allow that technology transfer. There's no doubt. Uh, we don't have a deficiency of policies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The issue is actualizing those policies. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, counties now, as I said earlier, are rich. I mean, I have, uh, have, have, have every county, almost every county in this country, or at least two to three counties can share university. Right. I mean, like, in, 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 in let's say, for example, um, Coast. Yes, yes. We have a Pwani University. Yes. We have a Technical University of Mombasa. Yes. And uh, I mean, we do not have a deficiency of university. No. Come to Kambani. Mm. We have uh, uh, Machakos. Yes. yes. We have uh, Se Seku. Yes. Uh, Southeastern Kenya University. Yes. Go to Meru. We have Chuka University. Mm -hmm. We have uh, Meru University. Mm -hmm. uh, Embu University. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're all over. Kisi. Mm -hmm. We have Kisi University. We have Rongo. Mm -hmm. We have Maseno. Mm -hmm. I mean, they are there. So we, uh, technology is, 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 is our doorstep. Yes, away. 
So it's about it's a way of you know how do we integrate these uh, institutions of our learning and research mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to meet the needs of the local. So that they are not ivory towers. So they're not ivory towers. So that they they do research that is relevant to the communities where they are located. We're giving a break and dear viewer, when we come back, I'll be asking Justin about um, urban f farming. Uh, it's a trend that we have today and also I'll be asking him something about food security with regard to nutritional security. It's easy to talk about quantities but he talked also in the previous uh, discussion about qualitative security with regard to nutrition. Uh, you don't want to go away because I'm having this man. You don't always get this kind of people uh, talking to you and helping you either change attitude or just what you have to do. He says it begins with you and me, not necessarily at the national level. Don't go away. Welcome back, dear viewers. This is Thinking Cup. I have with me Justin. Justin is a scientist with a bias to agriculture. And he's a specialist with regard to innovations uh, that help us as a nation, although uh, he, he's in the private sector, an NGO of course, uh, to help us think uh, on this state how we can have food security. And that's the discussion we've had with him all along. Uh, Justin, you live in Ngong. Yes, it. And uh, I know you don't have like a ranch in Ngong. <laughs> 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 but I know that uh, quite a number of you today are having small gardens in which you are really coming up with innovative ways of how to provide for um, food security and one of them is uh, especially with groceries uh, i've seen people do vegetable gardens and come up with very innovative ways will you research us what's the trend there yeah um i know uh yeah you're right uh, there's a bit of urban 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 farming right um and it's growing. Yes. And there are technologies that uh, support uh, uh, that kind of farming. Mm -hmm. um, you may have seen, for example, in, in a number of our um, uh, low income settlements. Yes. Uh, you have seen uh, what, they, what they also, uh, you know, sacks, people put together yes, sacks, yes, you know, yes, put yes, toil yes. in there, yes, and they yes, put yes. in, they plant sukuma wiki mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and spinach and, and those kind of things, yeah? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and there are there are also people who do you know who have baskets yes, you know yes. and they put in soil and they plant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That, that 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 is helping somewhat and uh, it could probably be even be stronger if if that kind of work was integrated with uh, academics mm -hmm. you know schools mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah um so that that that's happening a lot but then again in the outskirts of uh, city like for example where uh, where we live Ngong, mm -hmm. Rongai, mm -hmm. Kitengela mm -hmm. you know where there's a bit of slightly bigger space or even in in in, in Livy suburbs like Runda yeah. yes people have small gardens mm -hmm. and, and 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 they should really be encouraged to do uh, some uh, kitchen gardening mm -hmm. to supply for their kitchen mm -hmm. and and mm -hmm. this of course serves two purposes other than supplying nutrition mm -hmm. then you're also sure of the quality of the food mm -hmm. you're buying mm -hmm. uh, we have had instances in Nairobi here of uh, of of of, of uh, of uh, Korea, mm -hmm. not too long ago. I mean, yes. it's still on. Is it on up to, up to <laughs> even last week? I, yes. Yeah. It is on. <laughs> is it on? Yeah. So, yes. so um, while it's not possible to really get a, get run away completely from local, you know, markets where vegetables and fresh produce mm -hmm. are, are mm -hmm. sold, mm -hmm. but it's good to try and work towards uh, in, uh, making sure that w the source of your food is really as safe as you can make it. Mm -hmm. And so, kitchen gardening, urban farming mm -hmm. is good. And then the other thing is that. Government, you know, like the Ministry of Agriculture, yes. has uh, structures, like in Nairobi, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, though it's basically urban and a lot of concrete uh, work, all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. But there's a Ministry of Agriculture has a has a has a dedicated staff towards supporting urban farming within yes. the city. Uh, are you saying that there's some a bit of framework now in terms of policy and also laws? Yes. Because what I've heard is that whereas people have gone ahead and tried to practice urban farming, like kitchen gardening, uh, quite a number of towns, it's not permissible uh, by law to do that. And if you're caught, sometimes you could be uh, fined or something like that. What's the case today? No, I know. I, know. I mean, there are government extension staff mm -hmm. 
that uh, support agriculture in 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 in, in urban set in urban settings mm -hmm. i mean nairobi is unique because it's large so it has a dedicated staff mm -hmm. for for the city you know the county government of nairobi mm -hmm. and they the one of their core focus areas mm -hmm. is uh, urban farming mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah um, because uh, the, the people are doing farming and we're here and the people who Nairobi is home exactly <laughs> and they must eat yes and so it would be naive of the government to not to support that uh, but but for sure they do mm -hmm. I know I have interacted with some uh, officers of the Ministry of Agriculture mm -hmm. who support mm -hmm. agricultural extension work in Nairobi and mm -hmm. urban farming mm -hmm. uh, is, is is one of their focus areas and so they look at how do they support such a kind of uh, you know innovations right that support uh, 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 smallholder kind of productions at home right, right. for their home consumption and if possible maybe a little more for for sale right so they have uh, those kind of gardens yes yes yeah yes. that are that are that are that are innovative in a way mm -hmm. and and uh, you we, I, I mean i mean the cost of food is very is very high it is it's very high i mean uh, even buying basic skuma wiki for uh, a, a, a meal a meal of a family of two three yes, four yes, five yes, is, yes. Is, is quite something yes, yes so anything that can help uh, you know subsidize that or sub support that yes will be definitely welcome a welcome relief justin let's talk about uh, food security from an, an angle of nutritional um, uh, security it's one thing to talk about there is food on the table but how uh, what's the quality of that food does it have all the components and a lot of times i think because of you said previously that our income levels are low uh all i care is that there's something to bite <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and sometimes it is hand to mouth i wake up in the morning go work hard and what i can uh, i can get maybe uh, 500 shillings maybe a thousand I have to distribute it within what are the needs in the home mm. with such kind of income can i completely or at least partially be able to have uh, nutritional security yeah of course like you said and uh, we have implied before is that um, primarily what people particularly those who are low income areas what their focus would be in terms of food mm. is something to eat irrespective of really and this will be carbohydrates <laughs> <laughs> basically yeah so the first thing someone looks at is ugali and, and skuma wiki mm -hmm, maybe you know? mm -hmm. i mean something to put in the stomach mm -hmm. to keep the tummy going mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh, give you a little peace mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, we have um, we have to be deliberate in making sure that our food that we bring on the dining table mm -hmm. is of quality mm -hmm. in terms of supply for our body nutrients mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so that we have a, a balanced you know health a ba balanced uh, meal mm -hmm. uh, in terms of its supply for our nutrients for body requirements mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah but um that it, it's really um a catch-22 situation in it the is. sense that uh, you know you have on, only this amount of money mm -hmm. so where do you spend it in terms of food mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh yeah so how do you buy fruits when you don't have <laughs> exactly when you don't have when i mean fr fruits uh, uh two, uh five pieces of orange that is about 50 shillings yes <laughs> <laughs> and and when you when you compare that with uh, the alternative of buying uh, a little unga yes. and skuma wiki to supply for the whole family that will take care of everyone yes. you have energy and you have energy and you you can go about <laughs> yeah so so, so it's, it's really a very a very dicey situation yes yes but uh, uh, we just have to be deliberate uh, on, on that and we hope that if people adopt options of um, uh, small kitchen gardening then they'll probably supply for their own Mm -hmm. But those are also not many. There are very few people who really have access to space for kitchen, kitchen yes, gardening. Yes. Yeah, but again, now moving up to the rural, rural areas, mm -hmm. um, a lot of our uh, technical staff that are trained in nutrition mm -hmm. are posted in hospitals. In hospitals. In the urban places. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we, I know the Minister of Agriculture has uh, one or two people here and they are scattered on food nutrition. Yes, yes. But you would hardly find them at, in rural settings. They are basically in, in urban areas. Kind of irrelevant. Or they are relevant but no one thinks they are needed there. Yeah, but they are also limited in terms of capacity. How many, mm. uh, like you probably w find one in a sub-county. Yes, yes. A, yes. a sub-county those days is, it was a district, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. How much can they do? Mm -hmm. But a majority of our nutrition people are actually in hospitals. Yes, yes. Basically they are saying, let the sick people come. <laughs> We tell them how to eat. <laughs> and fix them there. <laughs> and fix them at the hostel. 
Why in actual sense it should be the other way? <laughs> Let us help them feed from home. So that they don't have to they don't, be sick. They don't come to so wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So it's, it's, it's a, it's, I don't know whether it's a, it's a, it's a structure of education mm -hmm. and um, employment policies, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but we could reverse that. We could turn it around. Right, right. So that we train people on how to produce mm -hmm. for their consumption mm -hmm. and, 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 and for, for, for sales. Yes. So that then we are sure that the people who are out there, they are healthy. Uh, we kind of, you know, st stop, you know, we, we, can't, we stand on the way of disease development mm -hmm. before, before we deal with it at the hospital level. Now, uh, I, 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 I can't help but think that also the question could be that um, the cost of food production, especially in developing economies, if you have um, developed economies, the cost of food production is so low because there is significant amounts of research and technology uh, investment that it helps reduce the cost of, like in US and Europe, I mean in UK, uh, one time I saw in literature that about 100,000 farmers are producing enough food for not only the US or 400 million, but the entire globe, food from US. UK, yeah. with a population of about maybe 100 million by now, I don't know, beyond, has only about 80,000 farmers, also about 100,000 mm -hmm. feeding UK. And they will, we, we will, if we want some food relief, that's a place we will run to sometimes. Yeah. In Kenya, everyone who is an adult even though employed, <laughs> is also somehow yeah. doubling up as a farmer, and mm. yet we still have food insecurity, qualitative especially, nutritional insecurity. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're very right. I mean, uh, um, those of us who are, uh, almost every Kenyan is a farmer. <laughs> and those of us who live in Nairobi, we are telephone farmers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, many times it doesn't work. No, it doesn't. I've done it a few times and I've failed <laughs> miserably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I think it's also about policies and ensuring that those policies actually work. Mm -hmm. um, how do we ensure that the people in Kitale, for example, Kitale, mm -hmm. they actually produce maize enough for the nation? Enough for the nation and export. Yes. And they can do that. It's doable. But now we have these challenges around maize and, 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 and you know, major crops in this country. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the politics that and go the with politics it. around it. That disenfranchises farmers completely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that you have farmers this time producing so much maize, mm -hmm. then they have a glut. Yes. And they do not know where to sell the maize. <laughs> Even to store. <laughs> and yet at the same time, there are people in, uh, in Northeastern who are mm -hmm, hungry. Mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm, or Kambani, or, mm -hmm, you know, cost. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so, so we do not have structures that w s seem to be working for us. No. And, and that w weakens. And so, so everyone therefore goes, let me produce for myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if you, have a, if, you are in, if, you have, if you have a son in Nairobi who have a little income, you tell him, my, send, my son send me some money mm -hmm. so that we can grow some maize here. Mm -hmm. Well, you know actually too well that maize is not the best crop in that particular area. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'd rather buy it from Kitale. Yes. Because then it will be cheaper and you'll have better. And so you do what is your, you're good at mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have, we have policies that don't seem to be uh, well harmonized with our current situations. Right, right. I mean, if you talk in the US, for example, you have all these large scale farmers. Yes. And, and, and we know farmers are really farmers. Yes. It's really a vocation. Farmers. It's, a voc it's a business, a full time mm -hmm, job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but here, we don't have that kind of a situation where farmers are really farmers. And then, you know, um, uh, as I said, there are a lot of interferences to agricultural production in this country yes. over the years. Mm -hmm. and, and, and agriculture, you know, is, 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 a, is the backbone of this economy mm -hmm. and everyone wants to do it. Supposedly so. It doesn't look like it is. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth is that everyone has to eat. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that in the, in the very sense, therefore, says we must continue to produce. Mm -hmm. I think the issue is how do we ensure that farmers are really farmers and they produce enough for this country and abroad mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and for sale mm -hmm. locally and internationally. And we can do that so that we focus on, 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 on where we are strong, yes. where we are strong. I have seen, uh, for example, along, around the Lake Basin. Right. When you travel around the Lake Basin, you find some kind of potatoes that I, I saw. This is it. Very nice potatoes. Yeah. Um, they can be good supplements for breakfast. 
<laughs> I can tell you, this list during the election period, this we we had like two weeks of you know nothing happening. <laughs> nothing Just happening. <laughs> so where I live in Ngong, yes. we went to look for potato, sweet potatoes. Yes, we said we were told there are no sweet potatoes because they are not coming from Lake Victoria. <laughs> I mean, which means there is strength. In, 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 in any part of this country, yes. which can be, you know, where which, uh, which we can capitalize. To, yes, yes, yes. So that um, we focus on those strengths. Yes. Because apparently sweet potatoes, a lot of sweet potatoes come from, from that from, region. From, from that region. And, and then adding value to that product, to that produce of sweet potatoes. I've always wondered, why can't we have, I had some, some, some guys from US, was it Europe, thinking, you guys, you have this, why can't we turn it around and have biscuits from the sea? And somebody says, yeah, we can do it, but it just died a natural death. I mean, is it yeah. so much that everything in this nation, you guys as scientists, can't we move away our discourse from politics? into simply, you know, this is scientific, we have to do what we have to do, regardless of the politics. Must we? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it's unfortunate that I a lot... I feel helpless sometimes. Yeah, that's true. You're not alone. We are all, all, all in the same shoes as Kenyans. Um, uh, it's unfortunate that a lot of our things, development and whatever, are defined from political angle. Mm -hmm. um, it's really about who you support and, and so on, unfortunately. But I, I am hoping that at some point somewhere, we'll get to a point where politics will be irrelevant. Mm -hmm. We will get to demystify politics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and because politicians will not bring food to your table. They never. <laughs> they will not bring food <laughs> to your table. And when they do, they're buying you up for Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And that is really very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. We should get to be independent because if, uh, you know, because you know, politics subsists on poverty. Exactly. Yeah, I it's mean, if, if, if all of us were strong economically, we, no one would be looking for us, and we would not be looking for them as well. <laughs> so, 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 but, but I, 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 I think that is where the church needs to play a role mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. as an as an independent uh, player, player mm -hmm. that is not political, mm -hmm. and work towards encouraging independence. Yes at the, the, the household level, mm -hmm. both in terms of food supply, mm -hmm. income, and mm -hmm. you know, other things that uh, make sense to, 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 to everyone's life. Mm -hmm. So that we make, them, we make people economically strong. Mm -hmm. If they're economically strong, mm -hmm. then everything else really f falls in place. Yes, yes. They can set up their own institutions, they can partner with other collaborators from within and outside their area of operation, mm -hmm. and they can, they can only continue growing. Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, our time is, I'm surprised our time is almost up. But um, there's this trend l lately of forest farming. And no one is advising people that some of the trees we are planting chalk out <laughs> uh, water supply. That's true. Uh, in our neighborhood. I wonder, in a quick shot, what would be your comment regarding some of the trees? Is it eucalyptus? I don't know which kind of trees I'm told that are really choking out some of the rivers and be because people want to make money they plant them but then they chalk rivers upstream and also they become catchments for other competing um, pests against crops yeah that's true um i think this is where we need uh, uh, leadership from government yes uh, I remember the late Michuki. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, I w we miss him. For everything else that we don't like him, we like him for being very proactive. Very proactive <laughs> and focused and, you know, determined. <laughs> this is the way, the right way to go. Let's yes, go. Yes. I mean, it took him a short while to clean up Nairobi River. Really? But unfortunately, when he left, it almost went back to where it was. <laughs> it's a, a man being paid a salary exactly. for no job. <laughs> Yeah, and, 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 and when he also talked about eucalyptus, yes. and in some places he basically cleaned it up. That's right. I'm told from his place of origin, Kangema. Mm -hmm. I think it's Kangema in yes, Moranga somewhere. It's Kangema. Yeah, so, so w that's the leadership we need. I mean, because that is really government. It's mm -hmm. about what should be done. Mm -hmm. It's good to have eucalyptus. Yes. They probably provide income. Mm -hmm. But where should they be planted? Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to plant eucalyptus by the riverside. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, where, where I come from, I come from Kisi, mm -hmm. and rivers are drying up. Completely. You can imagine Kisi without rivers. <laughs> we will all be dead. <laughs> That's tragic. <laughs> we'll all be dead. I mean, uh, with a high, op high population, we will not, we will not survive. Mm -hmm. We will not survive. And, 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 sub and the government has to come strong on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm plant away from the river. Let's have the water running. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All of us will always cry for the water. Mm -hmm. you, um, we do. So, so it, it is, 
this is government. Of course, there can be elements of community mm -hmm. uh, collaboration mm -hmm. as, a, as a community. But you know, communities are, are, are a bit not very stable. Yes, yes. But when we have leadership from government, everyone will fall, fall in place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let, let's, get the, let's get the trees out of the river. Right. Let's get the water. We all need the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's, there's, there are no two ways about it. Mm -hmm. We plant by the riverside we get dry uh, mm -hmm. our streams dry up yes so yes. we have no water for food we no water for irrigation mm -hmm. that combined with the fact that there's climate change yes it's, that makes the situation even it worse aggravates it's it's aggravated, yeah yes. the rains are now very erratic mm -hmm. we do not know when the rains are coming mm -hmm. so when we have no rains we have no rivers mm -hmm. so what, what says are we talking about our extension um, offices one of the planks that we will use to advise because look when I have my land reaching out to the banks of a river and you tell me that you can't farm beyond this level, I say, this is my land. I can do whatever I want. Do we need really strong legislation to tell people, even if you have your land up that borders a river, you can't go beyond this? Yeah, there are regulations that govern that. Um, I mean, there's, uh, you can only do go up to some point. I'm not very sure about the distances from the river to where you can do farming. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there are regulations that there are regulations for for sure about that. Mm -hmm. So extension officers and um, environment officers mm -hmm. at, the, at the county level mm -hmm. and uh, yeah and, and, and provincial administration, provincial administration mm -hmm. th they are they they should be able to implement those regulations. I think the what we don't have is the will to uh, enforce. To enforce. Yeah, we don't have a shortage of laws in this country. Right. We have enough laws. I think the, the enforcement is our biggest challenge mm -hmm. and, uh, and and commitment to enforcement. Mm -hmm. If we did that, we will fairly be will be will be a very good place. Is there a sense in which you, in the private sector, can create that kind of consciousness, uh, maybe in media? Uh, now that we have even village media, <laughs> radios that are <laughs> talking all over, we can shift our discourse away from especially, I'm sorry to say, but because I'm very phobic about politics, but I sometimes that's a lot, and uh, sometimes this um, social conversation that is not factual, that we can begin to empower our people more about the things that touch them at the family level, like food security. Yeah, uh, private sector can contribute to that for sure. Um, but again, you know, private sector, they are in whatever they are doing for, for profits. Um, mm -hmm. So unless they have an, a component, in, in, they're not meant to do that, mm -hmm. unless they have a component of corporate social responsibility. Yes, yes, or, yes, yes, yes. So that, you know, they are, because they are players, they are members of communities. Yes. But others primarily. On FM uh, radio stations and yes. TV stations, that can be done, right? That can be done, that can be done for sure. It can be done, private sector can, can finance mm -hmm. some of those elements. Mm -hmm. Because um, as a corporate social responsibility component, or even as a way of marketing their products, that's right. I mean, TV stations survive on on, on advertisements and commercials, and yes. commercials mm -hmm. like ours. Yeah. So 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 it's possible that the private sector can contribute that. So, but they need to be. They, 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 there has to be it, someone has to sell the preposition, a value preposition mm -hmm. that makes sense to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, uh, and maybe and, uh, we are now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and, and there could and, be people uh, listening to us. They should know this is something that needs to be, t be exploited. Exactly, and and they can use that as an avenues of of marketing their products, you mm -hmm. know, and, and encouraging, you know. Um, prudent management of our resources, yes. and and even in even even when you're doing agriculture, mm -hmm. prudent management of our you know land as 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 a, as a, as, a, as a factor of production. Right, right. Yeah, so that can be done. But just other than private sector, um, uh, we we can also um, use, for example, public institutions. Yes, yes. Universities are a major in, a major right. a major institutions yes, in this yes. country. Mm -hmm. They a number of, we have more than thirty public universities in yes, this country and a number of private universities yes, in this country. Yes, yes. So those can also be, because th those are opinion shapers, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. guys from these institutional opinion shapers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if they came out as, a, as an institution, because again, they are located across the country, yes. they can great, significantly influence some of these uh, uh, thinking, thinking mm -hmm. and, and, and behaviors. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, for example, I imagine a university, like say, uh, Chuka University, mm -hmm. which is in, deep in Chuka mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. Uh, they, they can influence that whole the, the whole of Tarakanithi County. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. and and uh, because they, they are major st stake stakeholder mm -hmm. in, in the in county. The so 
and the people know that they have information, they have yes. technology, yes. Yes. they have uh, I, good ideas that can, you know, impact impact society. Right, right. So, and then they can also collaborate significantly with politicians. Mm -hmm. You know, because politicians. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they Somehow you can't ignore them. Yeah. I wish we can. <laughs> so we need such kind of key stakeholders mm -hmm. that uh, stand out in right. communities. Yes, yes. And they can influence significantly some of the thought processes right. and actions and behaviors. You know, and things. Mm -hmm. And even though we have, uh, you know, like for example, eucalyptus is an income generating, mm -hmm. uh, uh, call it a crop. Yeah. Uh, but as an enterprise, depending on how it's managed, it can also completely drain our income. That's right. That's yeah, because we can't do without water. Even those trees, before long, they will not be, they will not be able to grow there. <laughs> Themselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, we've run out of time, but I can't let you go before you tell a young man who's just graduated from a university, um, a young woman who's just graduated from a university with a BSc in agriculture, and there's no employment anywhere out there, and he's wondering, did I waste my time? Just in terms of changing the attitude and thinking they don't have to go to some organization out there. Although sometimes you have to begin from somewhere. Is there something practical they can do with their knowledge? You know what it means to have a, a degree in agriculture, an undergraduate before even you go for, for postgraduate, that they can use. Maybe it is an attitude that we need to change. What is it you'll tell them? That your young man listening out yeah, there. That, that young man. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pastor. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the issue about university education is that it gives you the ability to grow. Mm -hmm. The fact that you have a degree from a university does not make you necessarily uh, an expert by itself. Expertise is built over time. Yes. But you can start a process. All of us have been through that. So I'll tell that young man looking at me out there that um, be proactive. Don't sit at home. Get your degree, take it to the farm. Okay. Let people start seeing you implementing that which you learned from the university. Mm -hmm. Reach out to people, give them ideas on what you can do for them. Offer free service, volunteer, mm -hmm. take internships. Mm -hmm. Because you know, life is about growth. Mm -hmm. You can't grow at home, and no one will come and look for you at home. Mm -hmm. You must get out yourself, take a walk out of your home, go out there and tell people, I am here. I mean, you'll not obvious. I mean, it's not obvious that when you get out there, people will receive you. People will always be resistant to receiving new new faces. Mm -hmm. But express yourself. You know. Uh, so an idea about volunteer, volunteering in workplaces is is critical. It makes you uh, stand out mm -hmm. because you can always project. You can also always post that in your CV mm -hmm. in your next job that I volunteered in place A for this ma number of for for this one year or one and a half years, two months. Mm -hmm. I did this internship in this place for one month, mm -hmm. and when I was here at this farm, I did A, B, C, D mm -hmm. without money. And everyone appreciates people going out of their way and doing more than the call of duty. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to encourage young people. Mm -hmm. And as they come out of the university, there are no jobs waiting for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are no jobs there. Go and create yourself mm -hmm. and create the job that you want to be. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You know, I thought this would be the last time I'm going to host this man. But I'm thinking, no, maybe I should think again and look for him again. I, I don't think you disagree with me. So watch this space. Uh, watch Hope Channel Kenya. Watch Thinking Cup. Because this is where we can, this kind of people who give us value, who help us to think and have solutions for life. Once again, I'm Ken Baraz, and this is Thinking Cup. Mm -hmm.